again, boys and girls. So, another day. We're out here on the MG again, and today we're going to work on the taillights. Uh, specifically, the taillights and the brake lights make both of them work, and go from there and see, what, see how long that takes us. Uh, this is going to be a lot more wiring than we've done in other videos, kind of, just because of the length and routing. i got to figure out the routing. I'm not 100% sure where, where or exactly how I want to handle it yet, because factory went underneath. They went like underneath of the car and then up i i don't want to do that i want to go through the car um just because it's gonna make me feel better having the wiring inside than out even though the entire thing's outside it just makes me better having a sheet of metal between it and the road so if uh if you can really call that a sheet of metal yeah. details <clears throat> yes I don't know how that's comfortable. Oh yeah, you're watching your cartoon and demonetized. If I was even monetized, to start with. <laughs> but yeah, so the goal is to make those work this video, and from there, I don't know. We could move on to the headlights. I just don't think that's going to happen in this video. Um, yeah. So I have the taillights themselves mounted in here. Uh, here's the lenses, just to give you guys an idea of what is where tail light or turn signal is here tail light brake light is right there uh it is supposed to ground through the housing to the body that doesn't seem to work that well i've never been a fan of that on anything so we're going to make some grounding straps to go from this housing and obviously this housing to the body um haven't quite decided exactly how i want to mount that i've i'm legitimately thinking about literally screwing a hole and mounting it through it's uh not like you're going to see it anyway even if i do that so it wouldn't be that big a deal and then running the wiring and like just putting it onto here so that would be plenty well enough and uh would give me everything i need to have so these are for reverse lights Honestly, I'm not going to worry about them. I even thought about wiring those into the turn signals and then completely making this housing red and uh, making this the brake light and this up here the uh, turn signal or not the turn signal like make this the tail light and then make the whole thing light up as a brake light maybe or have this be the tail light and the whole thing light up as a brake light. <clears throat> Both of those crossed my mind. Um, but I feel like at that point now I'm trying to overcomplicate things and make it too different when it doesn't need to be a thing. So uh, we also need to wire these into the taillights as well. So I got to dig them out and figure out what ones go there because I don't remember. So because I figure if I'm going to wire in one thing, I need to wire in both, have it all done. <sighs> Many things to do. All right. As you can see here, I got the bolt through. Mounted to a wire, got it grounded right here like it'd be grounded to a battery, and if I go in here and grab one of these, voila, if I go up here and grab one of these, oh, maybe, there we go, we have lights top and bottom, that is grounding it out just fine. And with the way I did it, the tail light might not line up perfectly, but it's good enough to make me happy. So, I'm going to call that a win. Now to uh, copy that over here. Alright, so the next step is done. Got them grounded right here. Hang on, guys. Boop. There we go. And I changed the ends on both of them to a more normal end that I have an adapter for. That way it works. And with the battery charger on, I can grab any of them. And they all light up. Now, it might, you might say, well, you got the battery grounded there. Yes, but that's not grounded directly to the light. The light is grounded here, not there, or there, I mean. So that is just completing the circuit because I was having some issues. If I don't have that on there, then they don't work. 
It makes sense because on a regular car battery, if you don't have the battery grounded out, it won't send power to anything. So it has to complete the circuit. Yeah. Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to start daisy chaining the lights together. We're going to wire this light to that light and that light up to the switch. At least that is the plan currently. I also need to dig through and figure these out and put those on. At least I think, do I need marker lights legally like that? Um, not, um, not unless one of these doesn't work as a turn signal. No, they do. This one works as a turn signal. So, yeah, no, I should be good. All right, yeah, maybe I won't worry about those right now. I don't know. As the marker lights would light up with the tail lights, but would also work as a turn signal, too. Yep. Hmm. Try that light. Oh. I guess I need to do some digging. Alright, so digging through and looking, the marker lights on this only work with the turn signals, so I'm not going to worry about them right now. And I may just not worry about them in general. I've never been a fan of the way the marker lights look on these things, because they're kind of big and gaudy. Kind of ugly. Maybe I'll see if I can find something smaller. i put O'Reilly's. Uh, and uh, see what I can do there. Just get some like little, like maybe like flat round ones or something. Or eBay things, I don't know. Because, like, the holes, yeah, the holes don't look good in the side, but I'd almost rather see those right now than see the marker light. So, uh, it's not like it's going to be stock anyway. So, yeah. All right. On to wiring. So, I got the wire started from the light over here. I got it run over to the other light, but now it's dawning on me. I have to make a decision on how I'm getting the wires from there back to there. And I, what I think I'd like to do... I think I'm going to run it down the firewall here, or down, down here from the switch, across, up, and in. Um, or it could possibly come from over here by the door, up, over, and in. I almost like over here by the door better, because it's not going to have the wires running directly down the center of the car. Um, but yeah. Because I don't, like I said, I absolutely do not want to run them underneath of the car. Uh, maybe down the driver's side. I don't want to run them down the driver's side either just because of the fact that obviously I am going to be the one in the car the most. So this is the seat that's going to get used the most. I don't want to take any chances of the wires getting frayed by the seat. So being on this side, it seems like it's going to be more beneficial overall, even though the e-brake is here, yes, but it, it's literally there for show at this point. It doesn't actually do anything. So, I think we're going to do it that way. So, I'm just going to take a second and apologize that this video to this point has seemed a bit off and kind of all over the place. I've had some stuff going on in the background um, that's kind of family related that I'm not going to go into detail here. And it is, in a weird way, very good things. So, don't, don't think they're not. Um, the wife is just in a very upbeat mood we'll call it so um so yeah it's been making I've, I've had a lot of phone calls and stuff today so i i've been having a hard time recording but i've been still trying to work while i've been talking to people on the phone so it's been yeah so with that being said i have the power i have the taillight wire it ran up to here let me walk around the car the long way because i've started this on the wrong side of the car it's going to go from here, down through here, follow along here, come up, I put a grommet in the fire, or in the, well, yeah, we're going to call it the firewall, whatever, and in the back wall back here, comes here, it's plugged into the lights, and it splits off from here, oops, sorry, from here, goes all the way across the other tail light. So now, put the key in the ignition. Ah, I really just lost that key. God oh, damn it. Hang on. All right. Got the key back. So pop that thing in the old ignition there. I'm going to turn on the ignition because the way it's set up, nothing will work unless the key is on. So right now the lights are off. They'll come back here. Lights are off. Pull the switch out one time. 
This is something else I gotta figure out too. The lights shut off when I don't have, when I had to switch all the way out. So these stay on. So I think I need to hook these to the other switch, possibly, or the other side of the switch. Because there, when it's on the parking lights, all those lights are on, and the tail lights are on. And then if I just touch the brake light wire to it, it will light up for the brake light, and then that's the turn signal. So, yeah, so we're off to a good start. I will say I do find it rather odd that the parking lights apparently will shut off when the headlights turn on. Which I find rather odd. I felt like those should have stayed on the entire time too. But apparently not. So I feel like the other side of that switch is going to be getting used a lot heavier than I had initially planned. But that is what it is. It'll be fine. I'm not worried about it. Um, so I also could try moving that wire around. It might be I'm using it backwards. Maybe one click out is supposed to be headlights. All the way out is supposed to be... I don't know. i got to figure that out now. Um, it's just weird that it's working the way it is. But next thing we're going to do is work on wiring the tail lights. Or not tail lights, the brake lights. Now, the brake light wire will be coming here from the fuse box. i got to bring it from the fuse box across over here. The brake light switch is actually here under the hood right right there that's the brake light switch can't see it but it acts on the pedal right underneath it here so and then run that from here all the way back i'm going to try to attempt to follow the same path with that as i did the uh the tail light wire so it's going to go across through the hole for the wiring over down across and around so it's going to go a lot of places it's probably overkill but I want to keep the wiring together, so that's going to be the easiest way to do it. Um, I'm going to try to bring you guys along for a little bit more of it this time than I did last time. So, yeah. All right, so we've got the wire ran from, from the fuse box over very loosely. I mean, it's just laying there. And that red wire is going to be the tail, is going to be the brake white wire itself. Now, I know I've said I'm trying to use less of the same color, and I've used a lot of red so far. But as I was going through colors, knowing other things I have to do, red made the most sense for, for brake lights because I mean, brake lights are red, stop signs are red. It's red. And uh, I don't have a black and green striped wire to match it to run to the back of the car that matches the one coming out of the fuse box. So I'm just kind of kind of making things up as I go, I guess. I mean, obviously I am because it's a custom-made wiring harness. But, um, yeah. Yeah. So that's why I, that's my justification for red for this one because I'm trying to save uh, like purple and yellow and blue and orange and all that for the headlights, taillights, turn signals or headlights, turn signals, all that stuff. So um, and I have come up with a plan for the marker lights. But before we talk about those, let's finish what we were talking about. This red wire is coming down through here, going. Coming out here, following the brown wire that is the taillight wire, which is going to go to that corner, come over to here, come up and over. And it is back here. And I started... Where did I put it? Right here it is. Here's the first connection of that. Um, and it's going to go across to this taillight, obviously. So it's going to light these ones up brighter. Uh, this is getting to be a bit complicated to keep track of. Uh, yeah, that's that so far. And that's kind of where I'm at. I, I figure I'm showing you guys what I'm doing after I'm doing it. Because at this point, you guys have seen me crimp on the connections and run wires so much. The previous, what, like three videos now? that I'm not trying to bore you to death with it on another video yet again. And I'm trying to keep these while I'm doing each thing individually and not putting them all in the same video. I'm trying to keep them at least under a half hour if I don't ramble the entire time. Yeah, all right. But here's what I came up with for marker lights. So 
Now, unfortunately, they are a bit smaller than the pre-existing holes. So I gotta figure that out. Maybe I can get, I'm just wondering if I can't get like a secondary grommet to put in the hole to fill the hole and then plug them into that hole. Um, I think this is gonna be what I'm gonna try to do, but I've gotta see what grommets I can find first. If not, we may, uh, I don't know, plug the hole and redrill it or redrill one of these other holes and just blank this one off eventually. Something along those lines, because these are going to look a hell of a lot cleaner on the side of the car than the big bulky ones that were stock. I mean, I'm, I'm not a fan of that in any capacity. It's just, they're big, gaudy, and ugly. And given how the inside of all of them look, probably junk, to be quite honest with you. So, yeah, I got to figure that out, but, you know, baby steps. So, next step was I went ahead and pulled the, if I can get it to focus here, the brake light switch out of the car, and I soldered, or not soldered, I crimped new ends onto it because that's going to be easier to deal with than the bullet connectors that were on it. And with me putting a male on one end and female on the other, it means once I put the actual wiring together, there's a way to keep them differentiated from each other at all times. Um, I don't think it really matters which way it's plugged in, but it makes me feel better knowing they're different. So, right here. Things out of the way, don't want to shut the pump lid. Alright, pump lid shut. Oh. Heat on. Nothing. Out. Tail lights. Brake pedal. Are they changing? No. That's the clutch pedal. There you go. There we go. Hey, they work if I hit the right pedal. Yay. Tail lights off. Brake lights still. And if I shut the key off, should be nothing. Nothing. Everything is off when the key is off. Perfect. This is going way too smooth. Uh, I'm glad to be that far. So, and that didn't take that long. In relative time of filming, so we may go ahead and do the headlights in this video too and make that all one thing and then i'll leave marker lights and turn signals for the last video of this section of wiring uh before we move on to maybe some fun wiring because i think we're going to do after all the lights are working i think we're going to start on a stereo just because i want to do some more wiring after all this oddly enough but i want it to be fun wiring and make more things in the car work so like radio and cigarette lighter and maybe like a door light so i know the doors are shut one for the trunk to make sure the trunk shut things like that um that are relatively simple to do so uh, no door dinger i'm not putting a door dinger in the car just fuck door dingers no door dinger no door no no door no i want a door trying to throw me out the car and kill me of course i didn't catch that part on camera but that would be the only reason why you'd let me get a motorcycle so i'd die i'm glad i don't have enough life insurance on you yet though i'm sorry i gotta keep you alive for now I knew i was only a paycheck that was just a matter of time <laughs> well all right well there we go i guess i'm gonna buy a motorcycle now mm. so four headlight buckets later I have one set that's half usable. Um, as long as I only want two screws holding them in, I'm good to go. And this one, I don't even know if I'll get two. I'm probably going to have to tack weld that one in place. Because um, everything behind it is just, just trash. So, yeah. We're going to 
probably put that one up in place where it needs to be, how it needs to set, and just give her a couple old tacky tacks with the welder to get that to stay there. Call it good. And um, see if these light, light bulbs work. If not, I've got more. The light bulbs themselves will be relatively easy to change. The wiring, getting them into the buckets might be a bit of a pain. But we're going to make it work. So, yeah. But that was a good 25-minute um, fight, maybe 30-minute fight. Off camera, getting those two buckets after digging through the bin down here to pull out the other buckets to find out that they were total piles of shit. Whew. Fun times. So, I got these headlights up here as well. So, I got plenty of headlight bulbs. It was just the buckets themselves I was having an issue with and the mounting hardware to hold the lights to the buckets. So, but hey, at least I got something better than nothing, which is what it was looking like for a minute. So, all right, that's it for tonight. Time for bed. I'm tired. All right, so it has its eyeballs now. They're not hooked to anything yet. They're just here. Um, not exactly the most matchy matchy of headlights but they'll work for now i would like to get another one of these bulbs to put in that side that's actually an original lucas bulb um where this is a new sylvania halogen so they're probably not going to match up perfectly but hey they're in the car they're mounted so that's something um next thing we're going to do here is i can wire them from in here come out to here and go from headlight to headlight um, I'm going to go from this one to that one up into the car because that's kind of how I already had the wiring and stuff laid out for the rest of it. So they're actually probably both going to come out as soon as I can find the hole. There's a hole right here. They're probably the wiring is going to come out meet here and go back. Not um, come directly across and then back out. I might do it that way. That just seems like it's kind of overcomplicating it, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, that's where we are for today. So glad the taillights are working. This video is not showing me doing a lot of actual work, and I'm sorry for that. It's just, you guys have watched me wire so much stuff already. Um, I don't want to bog down another video just showing you 20-minute clips of me wiring crap again. So, hey. You having a good day down there? You watching your cartoon? Yeah, oh, you're watching Trolls? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Silly girl. All right, so I got some wiring done here. Got some wiring done over there. I grounded each light individually. Um, yes, they're grounded in different spots. That's because I accidentally drilled that hole too big. That hole was already there. And that hole went just fine. So, um, but the power wires are daisy chained together. I'm going to do the same right now. The low beams should be done. The next is going to be the high beams. And then after that, it is going to be a matter of testing them. After those are tested and done, for the most part, this could go back in place, I think, at that point. And I am done with uh, wiring directly behind the dash. Because um, the turn signal switch is going to be mounted here, which is this thing. So the dash doesn't need to stay out anymore? I don't think. That will be weird to have it in place and done. But that's where I'm at. Um, I really should show you guys me wiring something, I think, or something. I don't know. Like, you guys are going to have to let me know how you feel about this video after the fact, because this has been a very weird video for me. So, because I feel like it's been a lot of me talking and just showing you little blips of things, which is kind of what it has been. Um, show you something. We found a horn we're going to put in it. That I had laying on the shelf that I forgot about. And it's going to be specifically there to fuck with people. Alright. This is your warning for volume. Um, Cause it's going to be loud. Okay. 
Yep. Yep. Definitely mounting that behind the grill. Definitely going to scare the fuck out of some people. I believe it's from an old car alarm. This thing makes my ears ring. Is that loud? Why do you always sit like that? Weirdo. <laughs> You're weird. Such a goofy little girl. All right, I got the wiring ran from in here. All the way across over in the side of here and going up around. And now everything's wired here at the switch. I moved the wire that was the parking lights, which was the gauge cluster, over to the same one as the tail lights because that in turn should hopefully keep all those lights on. Or I may have just did that backwards. Hang on, I think I did that backwards. All right, let's give this a shot. Let's see, key on. Dash lights are on. Tail lights are on. So that's the first click. Low beams. Dash lights are still on, so I'm assuming tail lights are still on. High beams. So we now have functioning headlights, taillights, and brake lights. <sighs> everything goes off. And even if I leave everything on, that's with... Oh no, I think one of my headlights is going out already. Even if I leave everything on, the moment I shut the key off... What's going on with that headlight? Might be a bad ground. Yep. It's bad ground. <laughs> Shocker! An MGB with a bad ground. Whew, what a thunk. This one... Nope. That one's solid. It's odd that the old Lucas electronic light's the one that works well. Weird. Yeah, there we go. So I legitimately think at this point we can put this dash pad back in place. And we don't really need to be behind this section anymore. But I'm going to go ahead and just kind of like set it in place. Obviously, we still need to go through and like wrap up some of this wire together and stuff. Because right now it's just kind of going everywhere. Uh, this just kind of clean. Ah, stupid junk dash. Um, to just kind of clean it up a little bit and make it look a little bit more presentable, I guess is the best way to word it. Um, but overall, this is, we're just about at a point where we are done wiring the front half of the car. So now we're at the, we need to look into wiring the rest of the car. So what I think I am going to look into, and I'm debating is because I bought these for the marker lights for the side of the car, obviously. But what I'm debating now is getting two more of these and making these the turn signals as well. Like either mounting them here on the side, mounting them in here somewhere, or just kind of right on the front of the nose, or even maybe like mounting them in the grill. Um, but then again, this doesn't have a normal grill. At least it doesn't yet. Uh, cause I have to cut these legs down in order to put a grill in it like I would like. And I just haven't brought myself to do that yet. So, because I need those to look more like this one does. How like just big and open this is right here. For the grill that I have that I want to put in it to fit in it. So... Which is up here, even though it's beat up. Kind of looks like hell. It's still kind of the grill I would prefer to have in it. So. Because I have always liked this. Uh, sorry about that, guys. But yeah, this is this is the type of grill I've always liked. This big open mouth. I think they even call it like the fish mouth grill or something like that. It fits really well to the front end of these cars. And it gives it a little bit more depth than it did otherwise so i would like to put that on 
I'm just not sure if it's going to happen right away. Because part of me doesn't want to cut these off. Because unlike a lot of people, I do like the rubber bumpers. Um, and if I cut those off, I no longer have the ability to mount the rubber bumpers. So it's kind of a damned if I do, damned if I don't with it, I guess you could say. But at the same time, I kind of don't care either. So I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's definitely a hard one. But anyway, I think in order to keep this one quick and simple, I'm going to end it there because I got more done in this video than I had originally planned to. Um, I'm sorry if I didn't show as much as I normally do, which I really didn't. Um, or if this is, wasn't as enjoyable of a video as some of the other ones. Uh, I've had a lot going on and I wanted to get some work done to kind of get my mind off some things. And I didn't want to do the work and not show you guys. So it's been kind of a weird mix of just trying to trying to work but still show you guys some stuff. So, And I feel at this point we've done so much wiring in videos that it's getting kind of mundane to see. But I think this is the third video for the wiring. And we've got one more major video as far as wiring that has to be done we're going to do and then probably a second one after that's going to be like all stereo stuff so i feel feel like that one's going to be at least be a little bit more fun so that one won't be so mind-numbing to watch i guess um but yeah i i hope you guys have liked the progress we've made so far i i definitely am loving the progress we've made so far now it's getting to the point where we need to start looking at what we need to do to drive it soon. Because um, I would at least like to get one video of driving it at least a little bit before we get into winter time. Um, because once we hit winter time, there's not going to be any driving it for obvious reasons. So maybe, maybe that's how we will wrap up this session of wiring. Um, after all the like headlights, taillights, turn signals, all that's done. We'll take it for like a little drive around the block or something. Maybe run up to the auto parts store and back. Stuff like that. Because um, I can't go very far with it, obviously, because right now it's not tagged. So, because um, I don't feel like it is wise for me to register a car, car that can't legally be on the road. So, yeah, I just, I want to get that stuff done. Then we'll, we'll, we'll take it for a quick spin around the block, and that'll be kind of like our uh, hooray moment. We got everything done. So, and then from there, we've definitely got to figure out, figure out this interior, figure out... I, I'm still up in the air on whether or not I want to do anything paint-wise with it. I'm kind of just loving the whole idea of leaving it like it is and just enjoying it for what it is for a season. Uh, but that being said, this winter, we are completely rebuilding this front end to put that front end under there, lower the rear end a little bit. And then I've got some other wheels and tires we're going to put on it for at least the short term. Uh, and then I don't know at that point for me, once this thing has all that done, it's, it's kind of done. Like, I don't know if I even want to, like, put door handles and stuff back on. I'm not going to worry about door locks. It's not like I can lock. What good is locking it going to do? There's no roof. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, me and the wife were talking about we know we need to make a tonneau cover for it. I'd like to do something about that steering wheel. But overall, it's kind of nearing its end of what I had initially planned to do because at this point a lot of what I'm doing isn't to finish this but it's to learn how to do it for that so at some point we've got to make the transition from well we've done it here now we got to do it there so that one when we go into the wiring and stuff I'm making that one video we're knocking it out um the stereo and that may be a separate video because I'm going to do something a little different there. 
Uh, maybe before we do any more wiring, maybe we'll get this in the garage and get the interior cleaned up and give you guys a good overview of the GT6. Because I gave you a little bit of one, but I haven't given you a real one yet. So, and we'll go into the kind of more about this car in general and what I find cool about it. So, all right. I've been rambling for almost five minutes now. So, that being said, thank you guys for watching. Like, share, subscribe, blah, 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 blah. You, know, you guys know what to do. You've done it on tons of other channels. So, until next time, enjoy yourselves and I'll see you then. Bye. What was that, baby? You want me to play with you? Yes. Well, it looks like you're having fun destroying your truck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> that. You want to say bye to everybody? You wave bye. <laughs> bye.